Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we gallivanted all across Hyrule and did various side quests of some ease and some they were kind of easy, they weren't very difficult, but they were very far apart, which meant that I had to travel Hyrule Field a lot and now the song is in my head and that's fine, but uh, you know, at the end of the left yeah, end of the last episode, we got in a situation where we can go into the next dungeon. We're gonna do that right now. Okay. I uh you know, I, I, L L L L Legend of Zelda dungeons have a history, have a, have a reputation, a very strong and frankly deserved reputation for having some really shitty water temples, and and that's fine. This is this is not one of the worst water temples, but it's also no, also not one of the best. I feel like this is the middle ground with the uh, Zelda. Uh, water temples. It could be worse. Oh god, it could be so much worse, but it's not really something that I enjoy. Maybe this is the first dungeon that I dislike more than I like. If I was to grade this, it would be lower. It would be like a 5 out of 10. Lake Bed Temple. Welcome to it. It's not, it's not horrendous, but it's not also all that fun. It's not that much fun. It's tolerable. I'll tolerate it. I won't complain about it too much, at least until I get horrendously lost in it. Uh, but, you know... It's not that bad. It could be worse. We could be doing, uh, what's the one from Majora's Mask? The, uh, the Great Bay Temple, which, frankly, I would rather, I would drown a thousand times over than do that. Now, uh, what we can do, do we need a lamp? Do we need, a, do we need the lamp in any capacity here? What we can do, this is a very useful room. It's a very considerate room, frankly, because we have chew jellies. These are what chew jellies look like in this game. I got hit, but frankly, I don't care. I need to get on the right level, scoop up the chew jelly, and I get, effectively, is this red po red potion? Eight hearts. This is effectively red potion from an enemy, which is fantastic because I feel like these respawn, and we can load up on red potion, which is, frankly, insane. There are a lot of varieties of different chew jellies in this game as there were in... Uh, Wind Waker, which is nice. Do I wanna- I'm just gonna keep that there, okay? Because I paid for that, I wanna get the most out of it. What do I need in this dungeon? Probably some of these things, probably some of- That thing, yeah. Looks about right, I don't know, I'm, I'm preparing. Do I need- No, I don't wanna go down there. Oh god. This dungeon isn't infuriating in the same way that a lot of other Zelda dungeons are. It's just mildly annoying. I have lots of water bombs now. <laughs> That's nice, because uh, the only other way of getting them is going, I think, all the way back to Kakariko Village, and that is absolutely miles away. I would like a, no, I would like the ability to warp first before we do that. Now, like I said, this is not a, a terrible dungeon. It's just something that... I don't love this dungeon. I, I, I'm not even, like, indifferent to this dungeon. I wish I was indifferent about this dungeon. I I know what I just did. Don't tell me what I just did. Whoa, that's treacherous. Whoa, don't you think you want to knock down the side of the hanging with the ceiling first? They don't look to be very stable. I bet you put... <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish it. I, you saw what I did. It was amazing. Oh, God. I, I, I know I'm triggering scripts in the game's, in the game's coding to... Uh, say some dialogue, but you got to know what caused the stalactite to fall. Stalactite, is that right? I think it's right. Stalagmite is hold on with all their might, which I never, never really, you know, you hold on to things tight when you're hanging off like a ceiling or a cliff, you hang on tight to that. I am unsure. The rule of what is a stalactite and what is a stalagmite you know, it escapes me. It's not really something I have to think about in everyday life. And, you know, they they, they build it up in childhood as something which is really important. But, you know, it's not really. It's not that important. I, I've been through many days in my life since childhood where I didn't have to know what the difference was between a stalagmite and a stalactite. Or just say icicle if it's made of ice. Okay, so this dungeon, as a water dungeon, isn't just go around, do water things. There are, uh... Special things, as you can see by the, uh, the wheels, the water wheels. We need to power them with water. We gotta send the water in the right direction, have a quick showcase of what we have to do. Fuck you, fuck your nonsense. Get the fuck out of here, I'm gonna finish you with my finish attack. The diamond stand, I've made that joke, let's not make the joke again. Let's go into the main room. So we can evaluate this situation and weep at the ama- the crazy amount of shit we have to do. It's not- as confu- you know, um, the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time isn't confusing, it's just long and slightly boring. Majora's Mask can be confusing if you, uh, 
don't remember. Well, of course it would be. If you, if you, if it's been a while since you've last played Majora's Mask, doing the changing the currents in the lake bed, lake bed, not the lake bed temple, the thing. I'm looking for Uku because I'm there. There she is. She's on the other side. I can't slice through this. Whatever it is, looks kind of fleshy. We can't do that. But yes, in the the, uh, the Great Bay Temple in Majora's Mask can be confusing if it's been a while since you've played that game. But um, this is not terrible, but can be problematic if you don't stay on top of where you need to go and what you need to do to go where you need to go. It's, it's, it's a dungeon which sets out rules and then asks you to follow those rules in a, in a reasonable manner. Now I need to remember exactly what we need to do first. Fine question. Glad someone asked it. I would like to find a Uku just so I can... Teleport out of this dungeon somehow. I'm not sure. It's absolutely uh, we're underwater by quite a lot, and there's lots of lots of tech tights. As long as I pronounce it correctly, need to do that. We want to turn this round. I think, maybe. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm just I, I I'm kind of tentative tentatively uh, approaching this dungeon, thinking mm, I know you can't roll up these stairs. I've tried that many times. I'm not sure why I tried it just now. Oh, I was hoping they might have changed that in the HD re remix release. Where is a coup? I would like a coup so I can teleport out of this dungeon at will, which I might need to do. I'm not sure. Do we need it to go this way? I'm not sure. I feel like, honestly, that was where it was to begin with. This is going in a little... Not blind, it's not blind, I've played this game before, but it's going in with slightly lacking knowledge. I would like Uku, so I can have a little easier time of getting out of here. Phew, free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? Stick together for a bit, hmm? Yes. I'll be right, I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. And I've got this crazy thing again. Fantastic! Uh... I might actually need it, because uh, there are some slight stumbling blocks in this dungeon, and the tech tights, if I can say the name correctly, aren't helping in any way. <clears throat> Neither is my slightly groggy throat. It's it's not really, it's not a cold, it might sound like a cold, if you can sort of pick up, I don't want to go this way, if you can sort of pick up the slight uh, nuances in my voice that are affected by the cold, which makes it sound slightly more like I have a cold. It's not a cold. I, I am, I'm fit and healthy. The problem is, oh, I thought I was just gonna jump and not grab that for a second. That was a little terrifying. Uh, the problem is that, um, oh dear, the straw, I'm, I'm, I'm not allergic, I don't know, I don't think I'm allergic to straw, but, or hay, or anything like that, but every time I get near the stuff, I, I, I wheeze, and I, I wouldn't say cough necessarily, but there's, like, little particles in straw, which, uh, you know, you don't want to breathe that stuff in. It's, it's not, it's not good stuff, not stuff, not good stuff in the, uh, in, in, in the slightest. Can we jump to this? I don't think we can. I think what we can do is, is bring out our actual bombs. It is good that we did get that extra bomb bag. Uh, from the Goron who was underwater in that giant fire stick thing. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Okay. I had to try, otherwise I would die. Die not want- die not knowing or something. Get the- oh, the tech tights are gonna be so annoying. Oh, the blue variety have more health. That makes it much better. But yes, uh, I have a slight- I don't want to say an allergy because it's a very specific thing to have an allergy to. I'm fine with, like, hay fever. I don't get hay fever, but, you know, when you- when you're caring for- for newborn spring lambs, there's a lot of a lot of straw around. Whatever, whichever one is the bedding, I forget which one is the bedding. We want to go around this way rather than jump to our death like a moron. And we didn't even die, so we didn't even get punished for that. Oh dear. Ah, oh, cope with it. Cope with it. Fight through it. Be a man about it. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's slightly groggy throat. We're fine. It, it sounds like I've got funky sinuses, and that is not entirely untrue. I yes, this dungeon is. I, I don't want to say it's a bad dungeon, because it's not a bad dungeon. It could be so much worse, this dungeon. And actually, it does the uh, the Iron Boots a better justice than they were in the original release of Ocarina of Time. So when you do actually have to sink down, and I don't think there aren't many occasions where you actually have to sink down. Oh, that was interesting. Can I get up on this? Get up on this. Come on, Jackass, fight it. You know, it's not going to work. Okay. The couple of times where you do actually need to put on the iron boots and take them off to sink in the water and then get out the water and that sort of thing is handled much better in this game than it was in Ocarina of Time. But 
that's not hard, because it was handled really badly in Ocarina of Time, so... Y you just gotta realize that you've made a mistake, and then do everything in your power to do anything which is even slightly better, even if that is just put it on a button. Uh, rather than in an inventory. Who, whose idea was that? That was that is one of the worst ideas. If you're going to use it that often, and you know that you're going to need to use it that often, this is going to contain probably a dungeon map. I'm going to guess it's a dungeon map. We've done this before in Zelda games. Is it a dungeon map? It is a dungeon map. I am pleased to find a dungeon map. Now I know not where I'm going, but kind of where I n would like to go in the in the not too distant future, I need to- where was the locked door? Locked door was. Was that just up here? I don't know, the geography of this place confuses me! Ah, I bit my lip. This is the same recording session where I did it like two episodes ago, so it's- it's swollen beyond belief! My swollen lip has been bitten twice, and it didn't taste nice either time! Oh, tech tyke. Oh. Or rather, the tech tights. Don't say tech tykes. That sounds like a small baby version of tech tights. Uh, we, we don't want to fight either of them, because they're really annoying. Not the not the worst Zelda enemy, I would say, Iron Knuckles. Well, not, not really, they're not bad, but they're a, a, a massive inconvenience to fight, because they take a long time to die. Now then. Oh, things in different orders. We've got to aim for the sky and knock down some stalactites. Stalactites? I don't know. I'm guessing. Give me some, give me some normal bombs. I have loads of normal bombs. Oh, God. I like to think if the game will no longer drop us hearts, that the game will actually drop us some nice things. Really would be very helpful. Now then, uh, what are we after? Are we after something important? I feel like we are. Do we need to do anything? Are we here too soon? We need to do uh, uh, something important. Oh, there's a thing over there. That doesn't even look like a, a stalactite to me. It just looks like a part of the, the furniture in a way. I'm not sure. Uh, Fight the sinuses, fight the sinuses. Uh, I, I would say the sinuses, the, the slight allergy to straw, I forget. Straw is the one which you use for bedding. I, I never, I, I, I've used plenty of both. I haven't eaten hay. If hay is the one you eat, I feel like it is. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, I, I've used, I have plenty of experience of both, but I still can't really tell the difference. I think it is straw that is used for bedding. The, the slight allergy to that is frankly, Oh god, it's frankly fine uh, when you see like baby, uh, baby sheep. Baby sheep are adorable. Little baby lambs are the most ridiculously cute thing in the entire world. They are, they, they, they uh, we bottle feed them. It's, it's just a whole trip of just. Oh, it's, just, it's so, so cute. It's so ridiculous. We get, we get these. We don't really need this or anything. So we're gonna throw it over there. Oh dear. At the moment in this dungeon, we are trying to get a water flow going, and actually, if you see the shape of the room in the map on the bottom... Oh, this guy. Uh, if you see the shape of the map on the bottom left when it comes back, that is echoed a few times with how we handle... Can I just... Have a bomb. I don't even care. Have a bomb. See if it blows you up. I want to see if it blows you up. Didn't do anything to you? Oh, it's gonna ruin your bubble! How do you feel now, you piece of shit? Ah, oh, you haven't got a bubble now. I need a key, though. Where am I gonna find a key? Fine question. Uh, or can we do something? No, we haven't got the item for that yet. We're gonna uh, backtrack and hopefully find a key in, I think, the room which goes slightly to the center of this little uh, weird corridor thing. I don't know. This way is what I'm getting at. We can drop down into the room below, which we're not gonna do. Uh, I don't know where this takes me. It takes me somewhere incredible, but I'm gonna fuck, fuck you, Lizalfos or Dinofos. I can't tell the difference. Although they, they turn up uh, as separate entities in Hyrule Warriors. Yes, where's this key? There's a key. Oh, this is reminding me of what little water temple. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. There's a key around here somewhere. I'm sure there is. Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, the, the, uh, Dinalfos and Lizalfos are separate entities in Hyrule Warriors. I keep thinking Hyrule Historia. That is something else. Uh, but I, I can roughly tell the difference between them in this game. I, there's a key around here, and I'm gonna find it! You know, it was nearly the right direction. I mean, we could have just kept going and actually pick up the chest, which is in plain sight, which I completely ignored. But, you know, we, we go into that center room to see these things and to, to, to bask in their greatness. We gotta go all the way around. Can we- You can jump to that jackass! Oh, chew jellies. Whatever, we'll just go the long way around. Nothing can stop my flow when I'm in my flow. Uh, lots of go or something. That rhymes, which means nothing. Okay, uh, we don't want to go down there. We, we need to climb this rather large, uh, uh, what's the right word? Spiral. Is there a- is there a word? 
which is similar to cylindrical, but is used to describe something that is a spiral. Like spherical? Spherical sounds about right, but I don't know. This is well, Jackass climbs quickly, otherwise I would be bored by now. That's good. That's fantastic. Let's climb this large room and... Do we need to climb this large room or do we just need to go to that? How do we get to that? I think we need to... Uh, yeah, okay, I know what we need to do. I know. I, I understand. Don't worry. No one say a thing. Because I, I, I have the knowledge. I, I understand things. Oh, dear. Oh, well, the sinuses! I need to... I, I don't think it's medicine. I don't think I need medicine. Because I don't feel unwell. I actually feel quite chipper. Quite quite happy and healthy in, in mind and soul and all those good things. And not necessarily with the tech tights. Say it properly, uh, hanging around. That that could be a, a minor stumbling block. Let me give some water bombs, yay! I'm wondering if I should keep picking these up if we're not actually using them. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's a, a cause for concern later, I'm unsure. We want that when we can get to it, but uh, I feel like we can't get to it right now. That might be either a heart piece or a, a, a something. A, a, fucking Miiverse stamp. It could be a Miiverse stamp. Everything which I thought might be a, uh, a heart piece could also be a Miiverse stamp. For all I know, it's a water slide. Enjoy the water slide while it lasts because, you know, there's no danger here. I need to cough. Oh god, tech tights. There's danger now. Did give me a, a pretty good opportunity to just cough something incredible. Very, very loud coughing, but that's fine because I paused. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's good. Uh, we, we've raised the water, we've added water, we've allowed water to rush through, and then by doing this, which I I don't really know why we need to do this, why we need to... I think just to show that this is something which is happening, that's almost exactly why this is here. To show that we have now added water, and now the water is flowing at a rate of knots uh, in this general direction, underneath, uh, underneath somehow... The uh, the door, I guess that works. Maybe we should keep the doors open to meet to make sure the flow of water is is powerful enough. Doesn't have any pressure behind it. Maybe needs some pressure to get through these these water wheels or something. I I need the things. To, oh God, they're everywhere. The blue chew jelly is rather important. I may pick up some of that because I think it might be like blue potion basically. Although another thing about the chew jellies, which I do like, it's an interesting dy dynamic. The purple chew jellies will consume all and. And the purple chew jelly essence is pretty bad. Replenishes all hearts. That's nice. They are giants. The purple chew jellies, absolutely giant. I need a way of getting through here. A fairy as well. Oh, the, the lantern oil is going away. Don't want it. Don't want it. Have some lantern oil. Uh, use the lantern if you like. I want the fairy most of all. Oh, there are... There is so much bouncy in here. I love it. Fantastic. Oh, God. We went through the whole of two dungeons without seeing a fairy, so I'm, I'm very pleased about that. Where is the way of getting through here? Have I got to fight the enemies? Or have I just got to... Wasn't there a thing? Oh, it's going to be so annoying. We have no th way of hitting switches, I don't think. Or are we just going to go round? We could just go round, but I feel like... Is there a way on the other side? I, I'm just going to go round. Oh, wait, we can't, because the water wheel is doing incredible work. How do we get through here? Was there a way... Where, where there's a will, there's a way, and I, I have no access to both. I have access to neither, rather. Oh, okay, so apparently we can get through it. That's a- oh my, oh my. Oh, we just died. I was- I was restarting my time. I was- I was- where are we now? Can we- I, I'm just gonna go through here. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go round. I'm not- I'm- no. Although since the water will has now crushed us, we are down to three hearts and die in one hit, I guess. But that's fine, because that's been the way it's been all the way through this- uh, all the way through this Let's Play. The good news is, as soon as we find a chew jelly, we can try and fix that, because they are walking red potions. I appreciate that greatly. Absolutely. So we now have water flowing back to the main room. Currently has no use other than doing that. I guess that's quite useful. Uh, what we need to do, though, is probably turn this round. Can we turn that round? I don't think we can because we need a special... Okay, hello. Hello, Tech Tite. You're terrifying in every way. We need to, we need to go a place where the, having the water is useful. Probably need a key. I imagine we do need a key, but let's just go down here anyway. Because, uh, okay, we're going down here anyway. Uh, there are interesting things down here. Very interesting things. You can see them in the water. Ah, this might be what we need. This might be the key that I seek. It's not a key that I seek. Oh, it's a K stamp. 
It doesn't even- the, 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 the model in game doesn't even have anything on the stamp, it's just a Miiverse stamp, okay. I'm actually gonna do some fishing here, because it's kind of fun that doing the fishing here actually has some- has some- not a reward, I wouldn't really call it a reward, but there's something tangible you can get from this, it's kind of cool. If we get a bite- oh yeah, we're doing fishing in a dungeon, oh yeah! I feel like this has probably been done in Zelda before, but I'm doing it now! We get- one of these, a skull fish. It looks stronger than it is. This fish is forbidden, so it won't be released. Uh, won't be add added to your fish journal. Release it with a. I, I find it weird that the the skull fish doesn't count. The skull fish was that right? I I didn't really read it. I was just like, wow, that's a fish. That's a very scary fish. Is there a chest at the bottom? I don't think there are. These are. I don't know. Uh, but I find it weird that the game would let you catch one of those and then not let it add you to you let not let it add it to your journal. I guess it's it's very it's it's a little weird. Okay, tech type, please. Why do you only do one heart of damage? I feel like you should do more than that. I'm complaining at the not, not amount of damage that tech types can do. Now then, uh, where do you want to make this go? I feel maybe over here. <laughs> this is mostly guesswork. Oh god, this is so bad. I want to make the water flow in a, a, a direction that helps me, but I don't think we can do that right now. I'm going to consult my map. Map is this way, okay. It's a very large dungeon. <laughs> very large. A little, maybe a little too large for this. I wouldn't say this early on in the game, but, you know, it's, I, I am very lost. I think we need to go this way, but don't, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. We could be going in the complete and utter wrong direction, I think. We might be, but I think the water needs to come this way. If I remember, I might be remembering correctly. I could be remembering some absolute bullshit. I probably need to turn this around, but I, I can't. Maybe not. Do I need to go up a level? I I am unsure. That's the that's a slight problem with these dungeons where you have to play with water levels and uh, other dungeons in the game. I guess this is harder, and that is its own problem. But other dungeons in the game uh, in Zelda, I am this is going in the complete wrong direction. I need to put it in some kind of direction. The problem with some other dungeons, or rather the problem with this dungeon in comparison to some other dungeons, is that you need to remember something quite specific in order to get any any decent result out of this dungeon, which is a little annoying. Other ones, things like the the Goron Mines, you can get away with just your general knowledge, and that's fine. It's a little annoying that you can't do the same with this. Is this gonna go in a direction which is gonna help me? I feel like it might not do, but at least we now have access to the upper floor again. I need to work out exactly where we need to make this go, and do we need- do we use the water flow yet? I don't think we can, or can we make it go this way? I don't think we can, that's the problem! Uh, I'm just gonna go through here and hope that this is- this is not. I need the water flow, because I need to go east. I know I need to go east, because that's where the important st the really important stuff is. Okay. Can we get the water in any direction? Yeah, this is probably it, actually. Maybe? Maybe you want to go no over there. There are tech tikes everywhere, which makes this a little- a little scary. I'm gonna try and get the water to go in the direction I want it to go in. Oh, I need to go up here, but there are skullfish and they already- they've already taken a bite out of me. Don't take another one. Don't leap out of the water. That would be very terrifying. I am going in the complete and utter wrong direction, but the good thing is I think I know where I need to go now and this is not really in the- I need to go over there. And I'm not there yet. Here we go. This is where we need to go. I was I was going in the right direction, but we can't go there yet until we do another thing. It's a it's a it's a dungeon where you've got to jump through the right hoops in the right order before you can do another thing. I I guess that makes it as not as linear as say the Goron Mines, and definitely uh, although technically the the Forest Temple wasn't that linear. Uh, basically, having some flow on the water means that this goes round. This is quite useful. We can now do things with this room. I've bitten my lip again because it's, it's you know, when, when you bite your lip, it swells up and it just makes it even more susceptible to be bitten. I'm, I'm low on health. That may be a problem. Our, our, the solution to our problem of not knowing where to go is this way, I believe. If I remember correctly, I, it might be. Uh, is there anything we can do with this door? Is was there anything we can do with this door? I feel like there might be, but there is also over here, uh, probably some bad things. I can hear the bad things. Oh, I can see the bad things! Get the chest and run away! Chest- chest contains a key. That's useful. Uh, I believe the- the- the door we need to use it on is not far away from here. I'm gonna go in here anyway. I don't think there's anything we can do in here at the moment. Uh, I feel like this might be like a mini boss, but I, I feel like was there a reason we can't do anything in here? Or can I just go through here anyway and just fuck the system? Because, you know, fuck the system, guys. Oh, that was why. I know why. There was a reason why, but I just wanted to check it out anyway. That is kind of a... 
uh, I don't know, like a, it's, a, it's a fake out of sorts to have the, you know, you're going into the inky blackness, that means you're fighting a mini boss. Actually, you're not because you got to go a different way around, but that is fine. It's not that hard a route to follow. I may use a potion. I, I don't know. What are the gold uh, chew jellies actually give you? The yellow ones. Uh, that might be lantern oil. I feel like it probably is lantern oil because there's no uh, there's no potion, there's no uh, magical cure-all remedy that is yellow in Zelda. Um, we have blue potions, we have green potions of which, you know, green potions not useful here, anything over here, uh, no, other than an angry... What are their names? Oh, the... The angry dinosaurs with, with, with metal helmets! I'm gonna remember the name, someone's gonna tell me the names and I'm gonna immediately remember the name! You gotta remember the name, otherwise what are you doing with your life? Oh, and the jellyfish as well, and the- oh, where are we going now? Oh, we're gonna go this way anyway, because there's something clearly of great importance here. And I bet, I would love it, I would love it if it's a heart piece, but I bet it's a Miiverse stamp, it could be a compass, it's not a compass. Is it a V- is it a Miiverse stamp? Oh, it's money. Why are you putting money in such a large treasure chest? I- I would like to ask you that question, because, you know, someone's gonna ask it of you. Otherwise, what the hell's going on? Um, we need one of these. We, we, this is, is this the first time we've actually used water bombs in this dungeon? I feel like it is. What are we doing? There's a jellyfish nearby and I don't want to anger it. Oh, it's very nearby now. We have no way of taking out other- Mate, it might be- It's gonna get hit by the bomb? Are you hit by the bomb? Are you offended by the bomb being there? You hurt? Are you hurt? Tell me all about it so I can laugh in your face. Uh, we're just gonna keep going. Oh, and the clams? Oh, there's so many enemies on this path to the mini boss. We're coming up to a mini boss, which will give us an item, which means we can have slightly more uh, easier passage. I'm gonna get a, just a bottle of something out of me. We got a fairy. How much? How much health do fairies give off? Uh, it used to be everything in Ocarina of Time, but then it became like eight hearts or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's do this and, and be done with the episode. Because at least this is uh, a good- Oh my! It's a good way of ending off the episode- Okay, they immediately got me and immediately triggered my fairy. Thank you, weird tadpole creatures! You're making my life interesting. We use the fairy. We're gonna look up. Let's look up. Okay! That's terrifying. Um, little, little blobs of stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a toad. It looks like a toad. It's a very large toad. Uh, with, with rainbow cheeks and very large bottom lip. Okay, this is a fun- it's, is this a fun boss fight? I'm not sure I bit my lip again, but that's fine. You have a, a very, very small tongue for a very large body. I think you can, you can remind me of this and tell me otherwise if I'm mistaken on this, but I think all the mini-bosses in this game have different- Oh, what did I- what happened there? All the mini-bosses in this game have different, uh, themes, have different music. Do I want to be fighting these? I'm not sure, but they're doing quite a lot of damage to me. I may whip out- not that, I don't need that, I never need that again. I've got a- oh fuck- oh my god, they're so annoying! I do so much damage when I have him- no, oh my god, they're so annoying! I do so much damage in this game, give me some health! Oh, I didn't want to use all of this, but okay. This is a clear challenge in this dungeon, not the boss. The boss clearly has nothing on this! I've, I've probably got to make- oh, what do I do on this fight? I can't- no, I can't remember! Not the most memorable fight in the game, but that's fine. Kill all of these, I could kill all of these for you. I'll kill all of them for you, how about that? Oh, they're so relentless. They're so relentless. They're just- they're just like killing machines. I killed all your babies. How do you feel now? Probably not so good. You're gonna leap up in the sky- in the sky. Music goes kind of cool. I can see the shadow and I'm gonna fuck up your tongue. Fuck your tongue. Don't fuck the tongue. That's probably not gonna go well for you because it's a weird gross toad creature. Fight me, gr weird gross toad creature. Can I shoot an arrow at your tongue when you do that? I feel like I could and should and oh, you're doing this again. Oh, I, what, I, what I wouldn't give for a later technique, which means we can just fuck all these guys up. Gotta use a spin attack more, because that's really helpful. Oh, I, I accidentally used the map! The map will not help me in this situation. Let's just use arrows. Arrows seems a little safer. Uh, we don't get anything back for killing them, sadly, but that's fine. This is much happier. I feel much happier doing this. Means I, I have a less chance of dying. I like what the music does then! Oh, that was interesting. It just came out of nowhere. I didn't get any warning. I did get a warning, but I got a warning very late. I think this is all we have to do. The scary giant toad. Can I hit it? Hit it! No! Oh no! I feel like I probably can, but I'm not gonna try too hard. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Shoot all the arrows! They are, uh, uh, frankly, not even worthwhile mentioning commodity compared to my health! Health is clearly a bigger problem. Oh, they are they are crazy. 
They are very, very insistent of hurting me. Oh, God. And I don't even like to take much knockback, so it's very easy to hit and be, be hit more than once in the same move. Can you go up in the sky again? Would be very helpful. I do like what the music does. That does sound cool. Oh, I'm near the rear end. Don't want to be near the. Don't want to be near the rear end. Get around quickly and slash away at the tail. Can I finish it? Finish it and kill the goddamn scary toad. Oh dear. <clears throat> I'm surprised he didn't do more to hurt us other than shake. Okay. Other than shake off the. Uh that was disgusting. Other oh god, it's still there. Other than shake off his like his babies or something, were they his babies? I'm unsure. I'm surprised he didn't do more than just that and land on us. But we get the claw shot, not to be confused with the hook shot. They're completely different items. Uh, it lets us latch onto things. It's like he, uh, it's basically the same as the hook shot. Base. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. It's going to be very useful. It's how we traverse most of this dungeon. Uh, and actually how we get out of here, because that's quite a, an important thing. What is over here? I'm going to end the episode off in not a short, um, in a short amount of time. I just, nothing, nothing over here. Lots of money. Maybe it would have contained health uh, long, long ago, but not in these, not in this era. Anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And in the next episode, we're going to go further in the Lake Bed Temple. Uh, look at the broken, there was a broken little hangy thing. Oh, it's adorable. A little bit sad, but kind of adorable in a way. I don't know. Never noticed that before. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, we're going to go further in the Lake Bed Temple, use the claw shot, and try and not fuck up too much. Now we've got the claw shot, this should be a lot easier to, to navigate. It's just trying to get around without this amazing piece of wonderment. That's where the problems arise. Hopefully there shouldn't be too many in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.